little fella dude. Okay. I need to count down. I do it. So yeah. five, four, three. Good afternoon, Cougars. I'm Erica Garcia, and you're watching Cougar Pulse on the CBN. And I'm Tierka Brown. Today is Thursday, April 6th. Believe it or not, next week is the last week of the fifth six weeks. This Saturday is round two of the Cougar versus the Scrawny Cats, the Battle of Benbrook. Varsity Baseball versus Benbrook will be at 12 p.m. at Tower Field. The Bobcats will bring a lot of fans, and we need to meet or better their fan support. It will be a nice warm afternoon, sunny and high of 86 degrees. Make plans to come out and support Baseball versus Benbrook. Another small ball news, both the softball team and the baseball team won their games last Tuesday. Well, the boys track team then did it again. This past weekend, the guys made a huge showing at the WT White Invitational. The JV guys took an overall third place in team ranking with Adrian Johnson throwing a personal best of 38 feet and 11 inches in shot put. Charles Robeson won first place with his personal best score of 39 feet 10 inches and Cameron West took fourth place while Eric Hall followed him in fifth. In long jump, Charles Robeson bagged another first place win at 20 feet and 2 inches. Combining running and jumping, DeMonte King came in second in the 110-meter hurdles. Eric Hall scored sixth place in the 100-meter dash, and Keyshawn Davis took fourth in the 200-meter dash. Proving that, sometime takes a proving that sometimes it takes a village, Charles Robeson, Keyshawn Davis, Cameron West, and Eric Hall teamed up to win third place in the 4x200-meter relay. The varsity boys turned in much the same results in their races. River Moore took third in long jump and sixth place in triple jump. LaRondre Alston and Tyler Morgan, in a true show of teamwork, both came in third place in the 100 meter dash with Tyler going on place fifth on the 200 meter dash. Finally, the team with Tyler Morgan, River Moore, Keon Jones, and LaRondre Alston brought home fourth place ribbons in the 4 by 200 meter dash. The NFF recognizes the top, scholars, the top scholar athletes from Dallas-Fort Worth area school each year. Tyler Sutton is ranked in the top 20% in the school and will be attending Austin College in Sherman next year. He will continue his playing career while working towards a degree in education. All right, let's move on to Fort Worth Western Hills. Tyler Sutton. Team captain Tyler was honorable mention all district will play in receiver, returner, long snapper, and quarterback for the Cougars. First team academic all-state selection and senior class vice president. He ranks 15th in his class academically. He's going to be playing football while attending Austin College. From Fort Worth, Western Hills, Tyler Sutton. Although he did not win one of the five scholarships given to him this weekend, this is still a great honor. If you see Tyler today, please congratulate him on this prestigious honor. April 13th is Key Club's annual Easter egg hunt benefiting Tarrant County Food Bank. Members of the Western Hills family are asked to donate individually wrapped candy, small toys, or baby items for the hunt. Canned or boxed food is also welcomed and may be deposited in box, boxes located around the school. Congra congratulations to U.S. History Students of the Month, Briley Glass. Well, Cougars, continuing our sports theme of the broadcast, the first Olympics opened on this day in 1896. The truth of the matter is, is it wasn't the first Olympics since the originated in early Greece. But this was the first modern Olympics, and unlike the early Olympics, clothing was required. Also on this day in history, the United States entered World War I in 1917. That's exactly like 100 years and countless years ago. And on this day in 1970, Sam Shepard, a doctor, convicted of murdering his pregnant wife in a trial that caused a media frenzy in the 1950s, died of liver failure. After a decade in prison, Shepard was released following a retrial. The hit, mo the hit movie and TV series called The Fugitive were inspired by his story. Well, Cougars, that is all we have for you today for Cougar Pops. I'm Erica Garcia.
And for the CBN, I'm T. Brown wishing you a good day and some good news.